We should not forget that. Very briefly, Sharif, if you could introduce this uh, young woman, this Egyptian teenager, and why you interviewed her, the significance of what's happening today. Well, Amy, you know, uh, the youth here has been critical to this revolution. A lot of people here call it uh, the re revolution of the youth. Uh, while, the, you know, they, they first took to the streets, but they were joined by all Egyptians eventually. And they are really taking some of the boldest steps uh, in this uprising uh, uh, going forward. And what, what, what they have done is uh, I'm holding in my hand here uh, the first edition of a newspaper that's called uh, a Gurnal, uh, which just means newspaper in Egyptian Arabic. It just means journal. Uh, it's a kind of our word for it, and it's they have printed it. And they're distributing it online. They're, it's basically voices of protesters, uh, and it also has a list of, of the martyrs in the back of people killed in the revolution. But the reason that they are also printing it in addition to putting it online is intentionally to break Egyptian law, which bars the uh, printing and distributing of newspapers uh, to um, uh, without without permission. So this is uh, Sana El Saif. She's a high school student, and, and I spoke to her about this paper. My name is Sana. I'm 17. I'm in my last high school year. Uh, we thought that uh, right now is the very is, is the perf perfect timing to push the borders of freedom uh, further. So we thought, mm, why not? Let's make a newspaper and let's not get permissions for that. Let's just let's just sell it in the streets. Um, it's, it's a very symbolic thing. We we are not counting on it. So we, we don't have like a big budget or anything, but we want to we want to. Um, force this. We want to have um, like uh, the freedom of expression. We want to force for it further. So usually you have to get permission to print a newspaper in Egypt. Yeah, I think that's that's the first time this will happen. So we'll see. And what kind of paper is it? Describe it. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, we. Uh, okay. This, it's called uh, Voices of Tahrir. Voices of Liberation, and um, well, uh, we thought that the p the first uh, copy uh, has to be like well, each one of us after this experience of the revolution has something to say. So we called everybody we know. Uh, we called uh, people from Tahrir Square, people from Alexandria, uh, people who who ha have been there doing something in this revolution, and everybody wrote something. And we're, we're just going to, it's like a blog. That's. That's Sana Saif. And we're going to go back to her next week because we'll be wrapping up our coverage with Sharif in Cairo next week when he comes back to our studio uh, to bring us his final interviews there. Sana Saif, uh, who is involved in this new newspaper that came out this week, El Gonal. This is Democracy Now!, democracynow.org, The War and Peace.